what's up guys welcome to my channel once again my name is DJ Ninja254 if this is your first time please consider subscribing on this channel if you are my returning subscriber I appreciate for your support for always coming back to watch my videos actually guys we are in a somber mood uh, over these sides. We have just woken up to some news that uh, one of the senators in the western side of Kenya, uh, the worker, his worker has just uh, passed away as a result of being gored by a bull and guys this is not a normal bull it's a bull uh, a fighting bull these guys have a band there they were cutting some fire some uh, wood some uh, timber Guys, it's actually sad that the worker of the Sena senator had to lose his life. It's very sad. Uh, I'm saying sorry to the senator and sorry to the family of the caretaker. So these sides of Western guys, uh, it's known fam famously for bullfighting. Actually, if you Google bullfighting in Kenya, it only happens in the uh, Western side of Kenya, where I'm recording this clip. And in the Western side of Kenya, uh, there are several counties. You have Bungoma County. Uh, Bungoma County borders Uganda. We have the Transoia County. Neighboring Bungoma County. Uh, guys, this place, uh, rock extraction normally takes place. Uh, Transoia County bo borders Bung uh, Bungoma County. And also... In Western Kenya, we also have Kakamega County and Vihiga County, and lastly, Busia County. So, in these counties, guys, the Luya community is the one that is predominant, and the Luya community, guys has a number of sub-tribes. This is Sisal. It is uh, being placed here to fill uh, the holes that have already been extracted. So guys, um, um, uh, the Luya community has very many sub-tribes. Actually, the Luya community is the one of the largest uh, tribes in Kenya. Uh, don't think that I'm tribal when talking about tribes. I'm just trying to to let you know, to let you guys know more about my country, Kenya. So that aside, guys, over this side, bullfighting uh it's one of the major activity that attracts tourists and apart from tourists it is also uh recreational and it has been part of the luya culture look at some 
of the fences made of corrugated iron sheets. So some of the tribes, sorry, some of the sub tribes, especially there's a sub, a Luya sub tribe known as Idaho, Isuha. Those are just among the many sub tribes of the Luya. Look at this big rock. So that is one among the many sub tribes of the Luya community. So from long time ago, they have been practicing bullfighting. Uh, this is different from the bullfightings that uh, have been happening in uh, other places like uh, Spain. You know, in Spain, with the bullfighting, uh, you'll see someone with something like a, a, a robe or a piece of cloth that is mostly is uh, red in color. And then they uh, go in front of the bull. And then the bull chases after them. But with the bullfighting that happens in Kenya, it's different. Actually, uh, with the, the bullfighting that happens in Kenya, it entails pitting bulls against bulls. Whereby one bull fights uh, rival bulls. And these guys, uh, guys, these bulls are very unique. They are not normal bulls. Uh, you'll find that their physique is... They have a very good physique. Like uh, they have... Uh, they are well fed. And uh, some even have muscles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They have a very, very good physique. So these bulls are w very well fed, taken care of. And uh, they are well trained. In such a way that even if you talk to them, the bulls, you can talk to them and they listen. Uh, the Luya community, guys, to some people, has a lot of traditions, guys. Uh, thankfully to the... religions that came about i'm sorry if you are a if you are a real african traditionalist i'm sorry to say this uh because this is a secular state and uh the world in general is a secular world let me put it that way you are free to to worship but personally, I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. But with the traditions that are in this place, there are actually a lot of them. Uh, so bullfighting has been in this region for so, so, so many years. And uh, the two subtribes that I've just mentioned the Isuha, the, the Idaho. Those are the, the major uh, sub, Luya sub tribes that practice it. Also, there's a drum known as Isukuti. One of these fine days, I'll, I should go and uh, do a video from this village. From, from this village, it's actually a lot of kilometers away. But I'll find, I'll find time, and you know, with family, 
um, being constrained in a way, but I'll find time and do a video for you guys. So, uh, the senator's worker, it is said that he has been working for uh, taking care of the bull for like five years. And he has been working for the senator for more than 20 years. And guys, it has been unfortunate that just yesterday, uh, the day I'm recording video uh, yesterday, uh, that is the day before this video, that guy lost his life. And you know, those bulls are trained in such a way that they tend to listen to people. But unfortunately, I don't know why it killed uh, the owner, the, the, the trainer. It, uh, it is alleged that the trainer had was taking some local brew known as busa. And uh, I think it had that smell, and it might have thought that is it was molasses. That is just an allegation that is uh, being rendered, uh, because the thing is under police custody. They are working on it, uh, trying to get uh, the root of the matter. But guys, bullfighting. Uh, is normally cherished and in most cases uh, you'll find that a lot of spectators gather in a certain stadium and especially it is normally done during the weekends a lot of spectators spectat spectators <laughs> sorry guys I gather to cheer the bulls as they fight one another yeah, the bulls fighting one another until when one comes up uh, come, comes out to be the winner. And how is it? Uh, the, the winner is known when one bull runs away. They fight each other in such a way that one bull will have to literally run away. That is when they the bull one of the bulls will, uh, will have won and uh the bull that will have won you find that people cheer it go home uh, and uh, af afterwards isukuti a uh, local drum is normally played uh, the isukuti is played people dance liquor served uh to end the bull fighting uh, these bulls are, are quite interesting because they don't like to be irritated. I don't know whether the guy who has unfortunately lost his life irritated them, but I don't think so because this is a trainer who has been training the bull. And not only that bull, other bulls for the senator for the last, for the past one year, uh, five years. And that guy has been working for the senator, the state senator, for so many years. So he knows how to treat the bulls. So the, the bulls don't like to be irritated. Uh, these uh, bulls that uh, fight, uh, they tend to be aggressive if uh, they are threatened or irritated. They don't have to be hungry. Uh, when they're hungry, they attack back. Or, or if you attack them, they are trained in such a way that if you attack them, they attack back. The sound is out. Uh, it's a perfect weather. Sunny weather. A good weather indeed. So they, these bulls don't like to be, to be irritated. This is a indigenous tree. They don't like to be irritated. They fight back.
But one bad thing, it is said that these bulls, some people practice uh, uh, witchcraft uh, to these bulls, or some use uh, drugs like uh, marijuana, and this side is marijuana is known as uh, inasori. Uh, or some refer to it as enjaka. <laughs> enjaka, that is marijuana. So some burn marijuana to these bulls uh, so that when they smell, they get crazy. <laughs> they get furious. They So that when they face other bulls, they'll fight uh, to death. <laughs> Let's walk around, guys. So they... Uh, some of these bulls... Uh, some uh, say, say to use uh, the internal te uh, organs of uh, animals <coughs> and uh, place it on the, on the horns so that when they get to smell, uh, to, to, to have that smell, they become furious. So they fight so hard. That is the way bull fighting happens in this region. So unfortunate that the guy had to lose, to lose his life. Uh, the bad thing with the, the bull fightings, it, uh, in fact, a stadium has been set, guys, to for the bull fighting sport. And uh, it's so unfortunate that that sport normally has a lot of people and uh, with the bulls fighting, it's hard to get close since the bull can go you or uh, rather hit you and uh, you know that's very dangerous. So it is said that uh, or rather it's advisable if you want to experience bull fighting in Kenya and in especially uh, in uh, particularly Kakamega County, it's good to use, especially if you are a content creator, it's good to go come uh, go to Kakamega or come to this western side of uh, uh, Kenya with something like a drone. And if you have GoPros, it's good to to be accompanied by locals so that. You go there. And it's for this reason that, guys, you'll discover that uh, there are a few content creators uh, doing videos. Uh, the place, at the places where bullfighting takes place. Since it's actually very 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 technical as the bulls can hit you up so guys uh this uh, i'm saying sorry to the family i'm sorry to the bullfighting fraternity in kenya for the loss it's actually very sad uh We wish them the same sorry. This is my village, guys. Look at that. That is Mount Elgon, the tallest. The second tallest mountain in Kenya going like that. It's a beautiful weather, even though the sad news that has just reached this area. We are saying sorry to 
for the loss. Guys, so the bull in this case, uh, it is said that once it has uh, killed someone, it has also to be killed. So in this case, the bull is no more because it was speared live. Uh, Literally, it was just speared while alive, not even being slaughtered first before being speared. Uh, and this uh, raises up some questions to some people, especially the people advocating for animal rights. Some don't like such kind of uh, scenarios. But since it's the tradition of... Uh, they said Luya sub-tribe, that is the Idaho and Isuha. The bull had to be speared. How I wish I could show the video. I don't know if I, uh, I'll be able to. It was speared live to kill it. And uh, the senator said that... You, you, he was speaking in a local dialect. He said that you bull, you have killed a person, which is very different. A person is the one supposed to kill a bull and not a bull killing a person. And uh, thereby he speared the bull to death. And uh, after that is done, that is the tradition. The bull has to be Wherever is there, will slaughter the bull. Someone uh, running away with the head, another one taking the leg. Whichever part of the bull that you love, uh, uh, been lucky to to get, you'll have it that way. Because to say that bull has already killed somebody, and that is how. Uh, that is done because the bull has killed somebody so it has to be uh, killed back uh, it's interesting that is how the Luya community does their bull fighting but it's a traditional that I'd say that uh, it is very rare for a bull to kill the the owner or the person training it. It is very, very, very rare. It is actually say that such a scenario happened like 30 years ago where a bull killed the trainer. In this part of Western Kenya. But during the bullfights, it is uh, advisable <laughs> uh, not to to be there, shagalabag, to be uh, not watchful and you are there and the bulls are fighting. I will discover that in most of the bull fighting scenarios, you'll see people with sticks. Sticks. So that uh, they can at least guide the, the bull. But at times, the bull go basak, go out of hand, and uh, fight whoever is... <coughs> near them so it's, ad it's advisable 
that when the bulls are fighting, you be always on alert. And in the bulls fighting, I've never come across uh, ladies uh, around uh, the bulls or the bull fighting area. We discover that it is a uh, uh, only a man a man's job. Boys and men are the majority of the people whom you'll discover that are there in these bullfighting competitions. It's interesting also because they, they tend to name the bulls according to different seasons like in a political season at a, at a time uh, they named uh, some of the bulls according to the presidential candidates especially uh, using United States and uh, also some are named like you find uh, some are named Obama the former US president some have names like Messi because some are also named according to uh, football legends and some are have uh, political names and some have local names that is all about bullfighting uh, it's sad that the guy had to lose his life he actually saying I'm sorry to the family and sorry to the bull fighting fraternity at large uh, thank you guys for always supporting me for always coming back to watch my videos thank you for staying tuned to this video uh, if you have not subscribed kindly consider to subscribe and hit the like button cheers guys this has been the video for today till next time adios